Say hello to your new nephew. Dad, that's a basketball. Oh no! Wait! <laughs> Please give me a dollar. Oh, I have no money. Just a dollar? I'm broke too. A dollar. I really don't have money, but how much money do you make from begging? $150 a day. A hundred and- Give me that shit! Please give me a dollar. Oh my god, you're awake! What happened? You had a panic attack whilst playing peekaboo. Where am I? I see you. <laughs> Jimmy, none of this is real. You're in a coma right now. Please, wake up. Uh, okay. Jimmy, you've been in a coma for five years. You were in a car- Oh, hold on. I forgot something. There it is. Wait, why are you back? Jimmy, you've been in a coma for six years. For six years? I was only gone for like- Shit, I forgot my watch. Oh, we were back. Jimmy, stop trying to take oh, things out of the coma. That doesn't work. Jimmy, you've been in a coma for Just seven- one more minute. Actually, I don't even remember what I came in for. Hold on. Jimmy- Oh, my glasses! There. Alright, I'm done now. Jimmy, you've been in a coma for nine years. You were in a car accident and lost both of your legs. That's weird. I could've sworn I brought those with me. Hold on, I'll be no, right wait, back. Jimmy Listen, you lost $400 of your mother's money. She beats your ass. Then your dad beats your ass. Then you go to your room, and on top of your bed, you find a $400. Do you give it back? Hmm. These chips are really nice. Did you make them yourself? Yeah, they're homemade. I fried them in rapeseed oil to get more flavor. Oh, nice. Yeah, no, rape's my favorite. So, uh, are you into politics? Nah, not really. It's just a bunch of posh twats arguing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. I'm only there for the massive debates, really. I just love masturbation. I see you've been getting into golf recently. Oh yeah, I'm actually getting quite good. Oh nice. What would you say your skill level is now? Oh no, I don't really rate myself like that. I just don't like the whole idea of the handicaps. Behind you, I got him. Appreciate that. I didn't even hear him behind me. Yo, how did you see him? Man on top of building, east. He took two steps and a half, and he just crouched. Top of the building. Got him. Yo. Yo, your headphones is crazy. <laughs> Thank you. These are limited edition Astro 5000s. <laughs> Wait, mom's in the trash can? Mom in the trash can. Bro, what? Your mom is in the trash can? She's searching? She's searching? <laughs> what are you talking about? She got your report card. She got the report card. Yo, how you know I threw my report card away? She's looking at it. She's getting mad. She's getting mad. Bro. She's on a move. She's on a... She's pushing stairs! What? Whoa, 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 bro. She's in her room. She's in her room. She's looking for something. She's looking for something. She's got the belt. She's got the belt. Bro. She's pushing room. She's pushing your room. Bro. Ah. Oh, I know. I know. I told them that yesterday. When I was at Brody's practice, his football practice, I told them that I wasn't going to do it. I know. <laughs> Next. Hey, how's it going, man? Um, Can I get one medium iced Americano, please? One medium iced Americano. And do you want milk or sugar in that? Just a little oat milk, if you can. Oat milk. Oh, shit. Um, what do I owe you? Eleanor has 127 watermelons, and she needs to sell them by Thursday. <laughs> This Halloween. Man, it sure is fun being the only people in this house and definitely know what- What was that? One killer. We have to go see what that was. What? No? Are you stupid? I'm calling the cops! No, that's so boring though. Yeah, come, come on. on. They would just die anyway. Yeah, so let's go check it ourselves. What? Idiots, bro. Three friends. Guys? Where'd you go? No, Billy, no! Never mind, just two. Wait, what? Uncover the mystery. Who is this guy? It could be- Hey guys, look! A homeless person! Let's make fun of him! Yeah, what a loser! It's him. Why is he spoiled it again? What the hell? Where is it? No! Now only one. Stop doing that! What's the point? Okay, the show spoils one more thing, I swear to you. Halloween. Okay, good. The one where everyone dies and the killer lives on. Why is the title? Yet no, another no, movie. No, 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 no.
Someone tell me, what was Anna's purpose in this story? Come on, anybody. Y- yes, Darius. Um, to, to find herself? <laughs> Not quite. But you're close. You're very close. All right, is there anyone who can get it? Do you know the difference between wallpaper and toilet paper? Gross. <laughs> what do you call a man without a buddy and a nose? What do you call it? Nobody knows. Ah! Ah, ah, ah. Why does 10 plus 10 equal 11 plus 11? Why? Because 10 plus 10 is 20, and 11 plus 11 is 22. Ah, 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 ah. Did you know that you can't cross your eyes, look up, and stick your tongue out all at the same time? <laughs> When my grandfather was younger, he was convicted of a crime that he didn't do, and the judge sentenced him to death row. But when it came day to kill my grandfather, my grandfather talked his way out of the whole situation. So when execution day came for my grandfather, there was actually two guys in front of him who were going to be killed first. So the guards asked the first guy who was going to be killed, they said, what do you want as your last meal? The guy says, oh, I want a big juicy steak. So they give him the steak, he eats it, and then after he eats it, the guards just kill him immediately. So the guards ask the same question to the second guy getting executed. They say, what do you want as your last meal? The guy says, oh, I want a big lobster. So they give him the lobster. He eats it. And once he eats it, they kill him. So then it came my grandfather's turn to be executed. And they ask him, what do you want to eat as your last meal? My grandfather looks at the guards and goes, I want a big bowl of strawberries. The guards look at him and go, strawberries? Those are out of season. So then my grandfather goes, don't worry about it. I don't mind waiting at all. Oh my god, he's just so cute! Look at him! He's the cutest little thing! I could just crush his little skull! Huh? I could just crush him in my arms! You know? Hey, this ain't consensual! And never let him leave! Turn him inside out! Am I in danger? The jokes I'm about to tell you are not funny, so don't laugh. Why was the cook arrested? Because he was beaten an egg. It's not funny. Don't laugh. What's the best kind of snack to eat during a horror movie? Ice cream. It's not funny. What did the fish say when he swam into a wall? Damn! It's not funny. Don't laugh. Why is diarrhea hereditary? Because it runs in your genes. It's not funny. I think you're fat. Yeah, that's It's a- just my opinion. <laughs> I'm not bullying you. I'm just yeah. giving you a opinion. I think you're ugly. I think you're fat. I think you're stupid. My third and final wish. I'm gonna keep my promise. Aw, I didn't think you were going to. Genie, you're free. Aw, buddy. Finally. What's happening? Thousands of years of waiting just to fulfill silly human wishes. Wh- what are you talking about? Phenomenal cosmic power shackled to mortal whims. This isn't you, Genie. This is me. It's the first time it's been me. What the hell? There is no hell now, no heaven. Only me. This isn't real. Say your last prayers and maybe, maybe your God will grant your wish. I never said I wish. Dang it. Oh, sweet mercy. I was so close. What even was that? That's twice now, Jeannie. Get it together. 68, 69, 60, 10, 60, 11. Uh, okay. 60, 16, 60, 10, 7, 60, 10, 8. Wait, wait, wait. What are you talking about? Four twenties. 420's one! Are you being serious? Son, you're adopted. Wow, really? My goodness, I feel like there's a new chapter about to open in my life. Maybe one day I could meet my birth parents. We are your birth parents. Your new parents are on the way. Dad, can I go play outside? No. Why? Last time you got in a stranger's van. He had a Reese's cup. So what? So what? You know I love peanut butter. You can play in your room. But I want to play outside. If I let you go outside and a stranger pulls up, will you promise me you won't get in his van? In this scenario, does the stranger have a Reese's cup? Yes. Then I'm getting in the van. You're staying inside. Please, I want to roller skate. No, I can't trust you. Fine, I won't get in the van. Even if he has a Reese's cup? Shit, he still has the Reese's cup. And that's why you'll stay inside. Okay, okay, I can do it. I promise I won't get in the van. Even if he has a Reese's cup? Even if he has a Reese's cup. The king size. Can I peek my head in? Just go upstairs. What did I say? You're not allowed to talk to strangers. Can I just get in and then not talk to him? You're staying inside. I promise I won't get in the van. Okay, let's role play. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, stranger. Hey, you want to get in my van? I'm not supposed to get in your van. I have a Reese's cup. I don't care. I don't want the Reese's cup. I have two Reese's. Two? Oh my gosh. I don't. I, I still don't want to get in. And a Kit Kat. A Kit Kat. And a Snickers. And a Snickers? Get in my van. Don't tell my dad, but open the door. I'm getting it. Alright, welcome back. How'd you do out there? Crushed it, dude. I got like six confirmed kills. Oh, that's weird. The computer's saying you got zero. That makes sense. They were melee kills. Man, this is laser tag. 
A man got pulled over by the police for speeding. Sir, you are going 30 miles over the speed limit, said the police. The man replied, well, I have to. I just killed someone. Their body's in my trunk, and I have a gun in my glove compartment. The police was shocked, so he called for backup. When the backup police got here, they searched the man's car. They said to the man, sir, the officer here said you had a dead body and a gun in your car, but we found nothing. The man said, yeah, and I bet that liar told you I was speeding, too. I swear to God, steal one more of my cooking utensils, we're done. Our relationship is over. <laughs> well, that's a whisk I'm willing to do. Ah! 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 What are you screaming about? Ah! 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 My crush texted me. Ah! 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 You know what to say. We practice this. You look like Shrek. Perfect. She told me to fuck off. Hey, want to hear an LGBT dad joke? How does a non-binary ninja attack somebody? They slash them. Mom, where are you right now? Oh, hey, honey, I'm just at home getting ready to cook dinner. Oh, that's great. Um, hey, I'm just curious. Do you have everything at home? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have everything I need here. Great, I'm really happy for you, but are you forgetting anything? No, I'm not forgetting anything. Everything I have that's important is right here at home. You're forgetting nothing, okay. Well, glad I know how much you love me. I've been at school for the past three hours waiting for you to come pick me up. Oh my god. I went to the doctor and I said, Doctor, my bottom hurts. He said, can you tell me exactly where it hurts? I said, right around the entrance. It's really sore. And he said, my advice is that for as long as you call that the entrance, it'll hurt. <laughs> Portuguese. English. Deutsch. Borboleta. Butterfly. Schmetterling. Hospital. Hospital. Krankenhaus. Ambulância. Ambulance. Krankenwagen. Ciência. Science. Naturwissenschaft. <laughs> Batata. Potato. Catupe. Avião. <laughs> Airplane. Flugzeug. I think it's time we had the talk. Yeah, I, I know it was coming. Look, we're not getting any younger and we gotta decide now. Do you... Do you wanna have kids? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't think so. I, I just can't. What? I can't do it. I'm sorry. I can't. I just can't. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I don't either. Oh my god, really? Are you sure? No, this is great. No, seriously. Oh, wow. All right. All right, cool. So, so I settled then. Hey, yo, little boy. It's time to go. What? But daddy. Yo, shut up, man. You're dismissed. Forever. Hey, yo, man, what the hell? A blind guy enters a bar and orders a drink. After sitting there for a while, he yells towards the bartender, Hey, do you want to hear a blonde joke? The bar immediately becomes quiet, and in a husky deep voice, the woman next to him says, Before you tell that joke, you should know something. The bartender is blonde, the bouncer is blonde, and I'm a 6 foot tall, 200 pound blonde with a black belt and karate. Even more, the fella sitting next to me is blonde, and he's a weightlifter. Lastly, the woman to your right is blonde, and she's a pro wrestler. Think about it, mister. Do you still want to tell that blonde joke? The blind man says, no, not if I'm going to have to explain it five times. So I stole all of this money for the rich to give to you guys because you guys are poor. So you guys take it and, and just live a good life. Robert, thank you so much. I can feed my family. It's okay, guys. We're it's rich. Okay. We're rich, guys. What did you just say? Let's push this baby out. I can't, doctor. It's hurting too much. Listen, I have this machine that can transfer her pain to the father. Do you accept? <sighs> Let's do it. Anything for her. Let's start with 20%. I don't feel nothing. Okay, 40%. Zero, no pain. That's strange. 80%? No pain at all. 100%? Still nothing. Just a second, my brother is calling me. Hey, Mike. Hey, bro, you need to help me. I have this huge pain in my belly. I think I'm gonna die. Hey, God, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Great. Can I ask you something? Sure. So, what is one million years for you? One second. And one million dollars? One cent. So, God, maybe you can give me one cent? Of course I can. Just wait one second. She's dead. <laughs> She's dead! <laughs> Three men are in the middle of a desert when their car breaks down. For their hike to town, they each take one thing with them. One man takes a jug of water, the second man takes a sandwich, the last man takes one of the car doors. The first man says to the last man, I I'm bringing water, because if I get thirsty, I can take a drink, and it makes sense to bring a sandwich in case we get hungry, but uh, why bring a car door? The last man replies, well, if it gets hot, I can just roll down the window. Hubby, I'm tired. Oh, you tired? 
Want to take a nap on my chest? Yes, please. Here, you can use my chest as a pillow to rest your cute face. You are so sweet, cotton swab. You are sweeter, sugar booger. Can you? Hi, have you guys figured out what you're going to order today? Yes, I'm going to go with the uh, bacon cheeseburger meal. Okay, sir, how would you like your burger cook? <laughs> I want to make just like my wife. Perfect. <laughs> that was so sweet of you. But we can't make our burgers ugly and musty, so choose one. Yeah, I'm gonna just go with the medium. No, you can just leave. And leave your wallet on the table. Siri, set my alarm for 7 a.m. tomorrow. Your lazy ass will hit the snooze button anyways, so there's no point. Try setting a more reasonable time to wake up, like 1 p.m. Hey, mailman, what do you got? Just this letter! Ah. Ah. Jonathan, I don't love you anymore. I Eight things mothers hate. One, when you go out. Two, when you don't go out. Three, when you eat too much. Four, when you eat too little. Five, when you sleep too much. Six, when you don't sleep enough. Seven, when you answer her question. And eight, when you don't answer her question. I'm going to be productive today. I'm going to be productive today. I'm go- Atheist is taking a walk in the woods when he sees a bear run at him. He screams, God help me! Then the world freezes, and he hears a voice. You deny my existence for years, but only now you wish for my help. The man says, I believe in you. It's too late to make me Christian, I know, but could you make that bear Christian? God says, very well. Time resumes, and the bear stops next to him. Then the bear says, Lord, bless this food which I am about to eat. So this kid falls in love with a beautiful girl. He goes to his dad. He says, Dad, I think I'm in love. I just met the greatest girl. And the dad goes, well, great. Who is it? He said, well, you know our neighbor's daughter, Susan, from up the street? Yeah, it's her. The dad goes, wish you hadn't said that. Um, don't tell your mom, but she's actually your sister. And so the kid can't date her and is naturally bummed out until a couple months later he goes back to his dad even more excited. He says, Dad, I found a better girl. I'm in love. She's prettier. She's funnier. She's smart. We just, we, we, just, we click. And the dad goes, well, that's great, son. Who is it? He says, it's our neighbor's daughter, Angela, from up the street. And the dad says, okay, well, um, here's the thing. She's your sister, too, so you can't date her. And the kid's pissed off at this point. This happens five or six more times. And he goes to his mom crying. He says, mom, I can't date anyone because whoever I pick is dad's daughter, which makes him my sister. And the mom hugs her son, and she says, oh, you can date whoever you want. Don't worry. He's not your father. You won't die without coffee. Nope, but you might. So a man dies and goes to hell and meets Satan. And Satan says to him, Nowadays when people die, they can choose their own hell. So I'll take you to three options and you choose where you will spend eternity. Satan takes him to the first door and he opens it. And the man sees thousands of people standing on their heads on hardwood floors. And he says, no way, this isn't for me. Next door, please. Satan takes him to the second door and opens it. And the man sees thousands of people standing on their heads on concrete floors. And he says, this is even worse than the first floor. Can I see the third room, please? Satan opens the third door and the man sees thousands of people standing knee deep in shit drinking coffee and he says this is the place for me satan asks him are you sure once i close the door there's no going back and the man says i'm positive i love coffee so he steps in and satan closes the door just before the man could get comfortable a loud voice on the speaker says coffee breaks over back on your heads emily was a young beautiful soul and we will miss her she was a good person <laughs> not once has she ever judged another person not once has she ever spoke badly of anybody. She loved donating to charity. I'm the real Gabe. No, I'm the real Gabe. Who do we shoot? There's only one way to tell. What is seven times four? 28. <coughs> Wrong answer. What? Seven times four is 28. Yeah, but Gabe does a little finger thing.
28, 28! Ooh. Officer, my wife is missing. She went out yesterday and she hasn't come home. Okay, what's her height? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe around five, six. Okay, weight? Uh, I don't know. Not slim, not big. Color of eyes? Sort of blue, I think. Uh, I never really noticed. What's the color of her hair? Well, that changes all the time depending on what hairdresser she goes to. What clothes was she wearing when you last saw her? Could have been a red dress, maybe a blue one. Uh, I don't know exactly. When she left to go somewhere, did she go by car? Yeah, she did. And what is the make of that car? It's a high-performance 560 horsepower Audi in a very specific grey silver metallic paint. It has 8-speed pedal shift automatic transition and a 6.35 litre V12 engine, generating at least 560 horsepower. It has a Z51 Super Performance package, larger than normal alloy wheels, GT bucket seats, satellite navigation, and unfortunately, a little thin scratch on the front left door handle. Don't worry, sir. We'll find your car. Johnny and Marissa sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes an abrupt and tragic miscarriage. Then comes blame, then comes despair. Two hearts damaged beyond repair. Johnny leaves Marissa and takes the tree. D-I-V-O-R-C-E. Your word is disqualified. Could I have that in a sentence? You're disqualified. Disqualified. I'm not finished. Oh. You're disqualified from this competition. Wait, what? Can I finish the sentence? Oh, sorry. You're not above the rules of this spelling bee, so I'm giving you a final warning. If you interrupt me one more time, you're disqualified. Was that the sentence? Let me finish. Seriously? I will tell you when you can spell the word. Do you understand? Yes. No! That was part yes. of Yes! Please stop interrupting. In fact, before I continue, I'd like an apology. Apologize now or you're disqualified. You interrupt me, you refuse to apologize, and you are clearly wearing an earpiece to receive the answers and cheat. And for those reasons, you are disqualified. You may now spell the word. Disqualified. D-I-S-K- Wow. Oh, for Sake. Dad, if I was pregnant, you're not pregnant. I know, but if I got pregnant, you can't get pregnant. So I'm never gonna be a dad. This is horrible news. Does mom know? I don't even know. What? We should probably lay it on her slow because I know she was really hoping to be a grandma. She's gonna be so hurt. I feel horrible. The jokes I'm about to tell are not funny, so don't laugh. A man walks into a zoo. The only animal in the entire zoo was a dog. It's a shit zoo. It's not funny. What do you call a bee that's having a bad hair day? A frisbee. It's not funny. What do you call an alligator that steals? A crocodile. It's not funny. Don't laugh. What kind of shoes does a thief wear? Sneakers. It's not funny. What did Cardi B say when she stubbed her toe? Ow! It's not funny. Nice to meet you, I'm Clyde. You don't know my boy Clyde? Uh, I don't think so. You about to find out, though. Yo, I got you, bro. You having a good night? Yeah, spit your game, Clyde. I came over because I thought you were cute. Yeah, he loves you. Oh. Nah, nah, he's just kidding. Yo, chill. I got this. Yeah, you got this. So what do you do? Good question, Clyde. I'm a teacher. Oh, wow, I love kids. Yeah, he got three of them. Yo, what are you doing? It's cool, I can fix this. Yeah, but he don't see him much. You just messed that up for me. Nah, you're killing it right now. She left. So what's up, though? You trying to chill? The last person who takes the right hand off this table wins a million dollars. You guys ready? Yeah. Go. Alright, so the rules are... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> That's your left hand, dumbass! Your Honor, I would recommend the death penalty. You know this is a hearing for your parking ticket. Please. Welcome to hell. Name, please? Joe. Well, Joe, there are seven levels of hell. Since your only sin was cheating on a science test in third grade, that means you go to the first level. Well, I guess it could be worse. That's the hottest level because heat rises. You'd know that if you studied for your test, Joe. My friend Bob died because I couldn't remember his blood type. It was tough to see that, I'll tell you. But he was strong all the way to the end. He was like, be positive, be positive. A small price to pay for salvation. So tell me something about yourself. Well, I have a rare condition where if I hear anybody sneeze, I'll explode. Really? I wouldn't have guessed that by looking at you. Oh, son of a bitch. 
<laughs> Check this one out. <laughs> please laugh, please laugh, please laugh, please laugh. I've already seen it. No! Video games are great because in video games, you can fulfill your greatest fantasies that you cannot do in real life. For example, in Stardew Valley, you can have someone care about you. Oh, hey buddy, I'm your new neighbor, I just moved in. Oh, hey! So what do you do for a living? I'm a professor of logic at the university. What? What's that? Well, it's better if I just show you. Do you have a doghouse? Yeah, I do. Well, logically speaking, then you have a dog. Yes, I do. And logically speaking, that means you have kids who wanted a dog. Yes, I've got two kids. Okay, so logically speaking, then you're married to a woman. Wow, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, there you have it. Logically speaking, you're a straight man. Wow. You have a good day. Yo, did you meet the new neighbor? No, I haven't. What does he do? He's a professor of logic. Wait, what? What's that? It's better if I just show you. Do you have a doghouse? No. Well, logically speaking, you're gay. I feel so burnt out. Honestly, I feel like a vacation would just heal me, and that's what I need right now. I needed therapy, but it's still pretty, though. Mum, I think I'm adopted. Of course you're not. Why would you say that? The DNA results came back, and it says no match for any relatives. Honey, Christian did a DNA test, and it says that he isn't our son. Well, obviously. What do you mean? It was your idea. D don't you remember that first night in the hospital when all the baby did was scream and cry and you asked me to change him? Yeah. Well, I think I picked a good one. I'm very proud of Christian. Check this out. I just stole three muffins from the bakery. <laughs> You're such a rookie. What do you mean? Let me show you how to do it the honest way, okay? Follow me. Okay. Hey, are you the owner of this bakery? Yes, I am. How can I help you? Well, I've got a magic trick for you. Okay, what is it? If I can make three of your muffins disappear, then reappear, can I get them for free? Um, Deal. Now what are you gonna do? Poop them out? <laughs> Is that the trick? <laughs> no. Check my friend's bag. Yeah, alright. I don't even know why I asked that. I knew you didn't know. Mr. William, it says here in your file that you killed over 30 people in just one day. Is it true? It is true, sir. How did you do that? While driving from work yesterday, two men crossed the road carelessly. I tried to hit the brakes, but it didn't work. I had only two options left, either to hit the men or drive to the other side where there was a group of people at a funeral. Sir, what would you do if you were in my shoes? Well, I guess I would have hit the two men instead. But that's exactly what I did, sir. But I managed to hit only one of the men. But the other one dove into the crowd. So I chased them there to hit him. DeAndre, we sentence you life in prison without parole. You are found guilty on all counts. Is there anything you would like to say? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I I I'm not going to jail. Excuse me, why not? Because I identify as not guilty. But you're guilty. Yeah, I know, but I identify as not guilty. Order in the court! Order in the court! <gasps> I saw that. I'm gonna tell the teacher. You would never, you're a pussy. Oh yeah, I'll watch this. Bitch, stop! I was kidding! Yes? Can I go to the bathroom? Ha, pussy. The three people on this flight, this is the captain. The plane is gonna crash. What? Oh dear. I've done all I can, but the plane is going down. There's three parachutes, and as I'm the pilot, I'm taking one. You guys can fight it out who takes the other two. Okay, listen, you two. I'm Elon Musk, the smartest man on the planet. Uh, Mr. Musk, humanity can't afford to lose this brain, so I'm taking the parachute. Cheers. Right? Okay. Well, listen, my son, I'm a man of God, and I've lived a full and happy life. You may take the last parachute. No, don't worry, mate, we're gonna be fine. Really? What makes you so sure? That smartest man in the world guy, he just took my backpack. <coughs> You're late again. I know, I'm just... Sorry, I'm just going through a messy divorce at the moment. You're not married. Wow, way to rub it in! Oh, phone's been blowing up all day. 17 missed calls from your mama. From my mama. From my mum. Actually, that's a lot of... 
in a lot of texts. Where are you? Call me back. Where are you? Nan's in the hospital. Nan's passed away. <laughs> and one from your mum. Hi, mum. I'm so sorry. Dad, am I ugly? What nonsense. Looking at you right now, you're the most beautiful girl in the world. Baba, am I ugly? Very much. Guy, why is it called taking a dump when you're leaving it? Dude. Come on. It's kind of funny how being down for something and up for something mean the same thing. If you're in the living room and you pass away, did you die or are you just knocked out? Why is the pizza box a square if the pizza is a circle and the slice is a triangle? You gotta be kidding me. Yo, why is it called a building if it's already built? How does a sponge hold water if it's full of holes? Please let me into heaven. And why should I do that? Because of what? Candace said. C Candace? Who's Candace? Well, what do you mean, Candace? Candace, dick me in your mouth! It was a pretty good totally one. Totally worth it. And so my phone was about to die because it was on like 1% battery. Hey, are you even listening to me? Am I the asshole for unplugging my grandma's life support? I, 22 May. It has to be the letter A colored black, right? That is absolutely wrong. What? The correct answer was a 90 degree rotated unfinished drawing of Pac-Man eating a Tic Tac. <laughs> Next and final question. Thank God. What letter do you see on the screen now? What letter? Correct. And nothing to do with the color, right? Indeed. And it's not some stupid answer like an unfinished drawing of Pac-Man. It's an actual letter in the English alphabet. That is correct. Okay, I can do this. Then it has to be the letter A. Wrong. What the the correct answer was an extremely zoomed in picture of the letter B. Okay, but the letter B is made up of a bunch of A's. So technically my answer wasn't wrong this time, right? Wrong again. The B is not made from a bunch of A's. What? Then what is it made of then? Unfinished Pac-Man drawing. You're so- Okay, 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 okay. We have 40. All right, let's get to 50. Shit. Dad, what does Y-E-S spell? Yes. Now what does E-Y-E-S spell? E-S. No! It spells eyes! Okay, let's see if you can get this one. How do you spell shop? S-H-O-P Good. Now what do you do at a green light? Stop. You stop at a green light? Hey mom, why was I named Feather? Well you see honey, when you were born, a feather landed right on your forehead. So I named you Feather. Hey mom, why'd you name me Butterfly? Just like I told your brother, when you were born, a butterfly landed right on your forehead, so I named you Butterfly. Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta go catch me snitching. I can tell you that much. I'm solid all the way. That's what I'm saying. Me and my dog are solid. You never catch us doing nothing. You'll never catch me 25. Dog. What'd you say? 25 to life. It was in my hair. He stole the car, Bruh. hit the dog in the chest. Stop talking to me. Stop, first of all, you fucking villain. Shut up. Anyways. Hey, bro, what's your name and who's the ugliest guy in your friend group? Yeah, I'm Alex and it's Rob. What's your name and who's the ugliest guy in your friend group? My name's Jack and it's definitely Rob. What's your name and who's the ugliest guy in your friend group? Yeah, I'm Rob and it's, it's me. Hey, could you please tell us your name and who's the ugliest girl in your friend group? My name's Alyssa and we're all tens. Yeah, okay. What's your name and who's the ugliest girl in your friend group? My name's Jessica and we're all tens. <laughs> yeah, good one. Uh, what's your name and who's the ugliest girl in your friend group? Uh, hi. My name is Raw Tens. Oh. Video games are great because in video games, you can fulfill your greatest fantasies that you cannot do in real life. For example, in Super Mario Bros, you can grow taller. Hi there. Were you ready to order? Hi. Uh, I'll just have the usual. Thanks. Do I know you? No. Okay, yeah, I didn't think so. So then why the fuck would I know what the usual is for you? It's on the menu. It says it's just a chicken sandwich with roasted red peppers and spices. Oh, I'm I am so sorry. I completely forgot that's what we called that. No, okay. It, that's okay. Great. So, Don't worry about it. And what did you want to drink with that? Uh, yeah, I'll have whatever it takes to get you out of my face. Excuse, excuse me? What the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> no, it's on the, it's on the menu. It says it's just a water with lemon. Oh, gosh, I am so sorry. I keep no, forgetting. No, it's, it's okay. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. 
Because no the fuck I didn't. No the fuck I didn't. I'm kidnapping you. Oh no. The ransom is one million dollars. Oh no. Until somebody pays it, you're going to be locked in that room with nothing but your feelings and that bag of potato chips. Oh, like a regular Tuesday? What? I mean, oh no. Did you know that snipers close one eye when aiming because if they closed both, they wouldn't be able to see shit? Hey mom, can you come check this out real quick? No, I can't right now, sweetie. I'm making dinner. <laughs> Why don't you just pause it? It, uh, use my own spells against me, possibly. Mom, could we go to McDonald's? If you can spell McDonald's, we can go. <sighs> Let's go to KFC then. <laughs> you smart cookie. Hey. Um, can I talk to you about something real quick? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, so basically my friends are trying to pla- Wait, do you know who the- Ah, uh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Anyway, so I was trying to say that when your friends are- No, when my friends- Hold keep... on, what? I don't even know what you're saying. No, I was just explaining that- Uh, no. Your Honor, how can my client be lying? He just put it on God. Objection, Your Honor, the defendant is capping. She belongs to the streets. Hearsay, Your Honor? Please. My client just stated he was dead ass. Your Honor, my client said, and I quote, Anytime I got you, girl, you my possession. Even if I hit you once, you part of my collection. End quote. Your Honor, my client is clearly built different. Your Honor. Ratio. Your Honor. City boy, city boy. I rest my case. Mom, can I go play my video games? Only if you answer my next question correctly. What? Fine. Why did you hit yourself? Because I wanted to. And now I'm gonna go play my video games. <laughs> Wake up, filthy. <laughs> Derek. Yeah. What's going on with you and Chad? First off, fuck Chad. What happened? Well, the two of us were playing house, right? Sure. He was the dad, I was the mom, and I told him, we can't make love tonight because I'm on my period. Okay, I should have stayed out of I'm this. not sure if that's what sent him off, but he starts yelling at the baby. The baby? Yeah, our son, Darius James Banks. You should see him, he looks just like him. Uh, of course, keep, keep going. So then he starts on me, starts calling me a cheater because I kissed another guy. You kissed a guy? Well, not in real life, just make believe. When I play house, I'm such a hussy, I can't keep my legs closed. I'm just so nasty. Okay, just finish. Long story short, he hit me. He hit you? Yeah, and I'm a lady. Right. Well, make believe, but still, you shouldn't put your hands on a woman. Just a reminder that it costs zero dollars to be nice. How much, uh, well, what is it to be an asshole? I can Venmo you. That's not the point. It's free, isn't it? Oh, mate, she's so fit. Just go up to her then. I can't. Oh, come on. The worst she can say is no. The worst she can say is no. You're right. Yeah. This is amazing. Thank you, Harry. This is brilliant. The worst she can say is no. Excuse me. Uh, I just wondered if... Oh. Oh. Fuck off. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Four men are at a high school reunion catching up when one of them had to go to the bathroom. The other three start talking about how successful their sons are. My son is so successful. He owns a car dealership and just gave his best friend a Ferrari. That's nothing. My son owns an airliner and just gave his best friend a private jet. Yeah, well, my son is more successful than that. He owns an architectural firm and he just gave his best friend his own castle. The fourth guy comes back from the bathroom and asks, What are you guys talking about? Oh, we're talking about how successful our sons are. Well, my son is a gay stripper. Wow, you must be disappointed with what he's done with his life. Actually, he's doing pretty well for himself. He just got a Ferrari, a jet, and a castle from his three boyfriends. <laughs> nah, we should hang out after. For real, we should hang out. Sure. Oh my god, they hate me. Sure isn't an answer. Hey, fuck you mean sure. Did, did I just do I something? I said sure. Did I just ruin the vibe? They did hate I, me. No, was it something I did? Be honest. I said because sure. Sure does not mean yes. And, and, and listen, if it was something that I did... Tyreek Woods, the jury has found you guilty of first degree murder. I hereby sentence you to 2,500 consecutive life sentences plus a thousand years. Once you pass away, you will receive an attempted escape charge with an additional 200 years being added to your sentence, which you will begin serving in the afterlife once you get to hell. Should you be reincarnated after your death and return to earth as another person, you will be arrested at birth and you will spend your entire next life in the state penitentiary. 
Look, honey, a shooting star. Aww. Domino, motherfuckers! What's wrong, my child? Nothing, I'm just grieving the death of my daughter, man. Oh, okay, perfect. Well, I got another test for you. Come on, bro, I've been unemployed for damn near four months, and my daughter just died. What the fuck? What are you training me for? Mind your fucking business. <laughs> What's the test? Okay, so look, it ain't much. I just need you to now grieve the death of your oldest son, because he finna die, too, in a car wreck. And then I got a car accident for you on Saturday, but you're going to survive that. But on the bright side, I got that application that you put in at McDonald's. You got approved for the job. So you're not unemployed no more. Hey, God, I bet $20 he fucking snapped by Thursday. I bet 40 he don't. <laughs> Man, what the fuck? This is the perfect moon for a werewolf to come out. I'm gay. Your Honor, I would like to plead guilty and request the death penalty. This is a... Uh... For a parking ticket. I know, I know. <laughs> so tomorrow death penalty or? What the fuck is wrong with you? In kindergarten, Jimmy had to go to the bathroom. He asked the teacher, but she said, you can go to the bathroom after you recite the alphabet. Jimmy said, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. The teacher said, Jimmy, where's the P? He said, it's trickling down my pants. So I'm not allowed to hold my sister's baby anymore because the one time I held it, I dropped it. It, it wasn't even, okay, it wasn't even like a big deal. It was an accident, right? But then she starts screaming at me. She calls the cops. She says I did it on purpose, blah, blah, blah. All the while, of course, I'm denying it and stuff like that. But the real question is, who brings a baby to the Grand Canyon? Several men are in the locker room of a golf club when a cell phone rings. One of the men answers it, puts it on speaker, and everybody stops to listen. Hello? Honey, it's me. Are you at the club? Yes. I'm at the mall right now and I found this beautiful leather coat. It's only $1,000. Can I get it? Sure, go ahead if you like it that much. I also stopped by the Porsche dealership and saw the new 2021 models. I saw one I really liked. How much is it? $200,000. Okay, but for that price, I want the one with all the options. That's great. Oh, one more thing. The house I liked last year is back on the market for $950,000. Okay, then go ahead and give them an offer of $900,000. They'll probably take it. If they don't, we'll give them the extra $50,000 if you really want the house. Okay, baby, I'll see you later. I love you so much. Bye, honey. Love you, too. The man hangs up the phone. The other men in the locker room are staring at him with astonishment. The man turns to them and says, Does anyone know who this phone belongs to? Bro, imagine your name is Joe King, and every conversation is like this. Oh, yeah, what's your name? Oh, uh, Joe King. Are you joking? Yeah. So what's your real name? No, I'm not Joe King. I'm Joe King. Well, stop joking and tell me your real name. That is my real name. Oh, I get it. Your name yeah. is actually Joe King. Alright. I'm Joe King. No, you don't have to tell me. I, I get it now. Your name's Joe King. So, nobody on your planet uses math? Nope, never heard of it. Okay. Say, what is math anyway? Well... Okay, so let me get this straight. You guys spend all day just writing these weird, freaky symbols? Are you in a cult? No, it's for science. Math is the language of the universe. Well, apparently the universe had a stroke because this is nonsense. How did your kind achieve space travel without performing the necessary calculations? It's a rocket. You blow some stuff up and it shoots you into space. It's not that hard. Oh my God, you even write it on the wall. Like a psycho! Well, that's a whiteboard. We use it so we can teach children. You do this in front of kids?! <laughs> I can finally leave! Martha, I'm coming home, sweetie! I'm back in the fucking building again! The jokes I'm about to tell are not funny, so don't laugh. What did the horse say after it tripped? Help, I've fallen, and I can't giddy up. It's not funny. What do you call an angry carrot? A steamed veggie. It's not funny. Don't laugh. Why can't you hear a pterodactyl go into the bathroom? Because the P is silent. It's not funny. What did the drummer name her two daughters? Anna 1. Anna 2. It's not funny. What do you call a sad cup of coffee? Depresso. It's not funny. Don't laugh. Hey bro, can you take these clicks from me real quick? Yeah, I, I, I bet. Alright, let me see. Uh, that's a little blurry bro, run that back real quick. Alright, let me see it again, these about be fire, yeah. Bro, what the fuck are you doing to the camera? Nothing. Bro, just hold the phone still and press the button, please. Come on. Alright, come on, let me see. No problems this time, right? Yeah, they look good, they look right. good. Bro, this isn't even fucking me. How did you do that? How did you do that? I don't know. How did you do I that? Don't know. How did you Stop it? Twist it. Tug it. Hug it. 
love it. Do you eat it? Do you want to get chicken or beef? I'm a vegan too. Marry it. Catch it. Catch it doing what? Cheating. You've been lying to me all this time? I thought we had something. You're nothing but a trash liar. Dodge it. Dodge what? Your Honor, I have the receipts right here and my client says he is not guilty dead ass on God. Objection, Your Honor. It's giving cap. Objection, Your Honor. Be fucking for real. Your Honor, the defendant is a man. That's offense out. L. Your Honor, story time. My client, 35 male. Am I the asshole? Your Honor, the defendant is literally 5'7". How are you going to be guilty and short at the same time? Like, pick a struggle, bitch. Your Honor, my client identifies as innocent. He's free to go. Thank you. An old man died and arrived in hell. He said to the devil, I don't deserve to be here. I was a good man my entire life. The devil responded, well, how did you die? The man responded, I was with my grandchildren. And then this ginormous mutated mouse ran at us. I immediately got out my knife and stabbed it to death, saving my grandchildren. And from all that movement, I had a heart attack and died. The devil said, oh, well, we should definitely send you to heaven. Where were you when you died again? The man said, oh, I was at Disneyland. The jokes I'm about to tell are not funny, so don't laugh. How does a duck fart? With his ass quack. It's not funny. I had cheese, but no crackers. It was crack a lacking. It's not funny. What did 50 Cent do when he got hungry? 58. It's not funny. Don't laugh. What do you get when you pick a pig's nose? Hamburgers. You should know. It's not funny. What do you get when a dinosaur kicks you in the butt? A mega sore ass. It's not funny. So we gotta put this on you. This is just protect your organs and stuff for the x-rays, okay? Uh, protecting organs is- are x-rays safe? Oh, they're totally safe, okay? Don't even worry about it. I'm about to push a button now. Okay. Everybody get out! Everybody please, get out! Please! I'm about to push the x-ray button and we don't want to get cancer and die! Please get out, guys! Duh. The gamma radiation is about Duh. to hit! Please! Please! please. Oh, wait, my mom's- Hold up! Wait, 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 wait! Eight things mothers hate. One, when I go out. Two, when I don't go out. Three, when I eat too much. Four, when I don't eat. Five, when I sleep too much. Six, when I don't sleep. Seven, when I answer her when she's talking. Eight, when I don't answer her when she's talking. Three dinosaurs are searching for food when they find a magic lamp. They rub it and a genie appears. The genie says, since there are three of you, you each get one wish. The first dinosaur says, I want meat. So he gets a piece of meat. The second dinosaur wants to one-up him, so he says, I want uh, a meat shower! So he gets a shower of meat. The third dinosaur wants to one-up that, so he says, I want uh, a meteor shower! And that's the dinosaurs went extinct. I ain't seasoned meat, bitches. Oh, no, 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 no! This white beverage is incredible. What did I tell you? I gotta know, Dave, how did you do it? Do what? How'd you make it? Come on, spill. Oh, I didn't make it, the cow did. Like the animal. Like the animal. Hmm. Huh. Wait, Dave. How does the cow make it? Oh, you know, where did it come from, Dave? Like I said, the cow. Where on the cow, Dave? Places? <clears throat> from where? On the cow. From the dangling nipple things underneath it, okay? Oh, good lord. Wait, how did you find that out? Dave. You know, someone told me that this was your first surgery. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm like pretty nervous about this. Fuck, I get it. It's your first surgery, so you're nervous and everything, but don't hurry. Everything will be fine, so just please, don't worry, Michael. Uh, doctor, my, my name's not Michael. Yeah, well, mine is. Oh, so you were talking to yourself? Hold on. Pick who's getting shot, you or your wife? Sweetheart? Baby, no, I'm pregnant. Your son needs a father. Don't worry about that, sweetheart. I wish I could have met my son. You're such a brave man. Shoot the bitch. Wait, what? You heard what I said? Shoot the bitch. Oh my god, babe, are you serious? Bro, you're going off script. You're supposed to get down on your knees and then surprise her with a marriage proposal. Huh? The surprise marriage proposal! I'm the actor you hired! Your brother's over there recording! Oh shit, I forgot about that. Oh. The jokes I'm about to tell you are not funny, so don't laugh. Why do bees have sticky hair? Because they use honeycombs. It's not funny. What kind of music do planets like? 
Neptunes. It's not funny. Don't laugh. Why was the broom late to work? It overswept. It's not funny. Why did they throw a party at the orphanage? The parents weren't home. It's sad, but it's not funny. What's the most groundbreaking invention of all time? The shovel. It's not funny. I have to write a paper on my parents' biggest regret. Oh, look in the bathroom above the sink. Right in the bathroom above the son of a bitch. Legend says that when you can't sleep, it means that you're awake in somebody else's dreams. When I find out who you are, I'm going to punch you in the face. The jokes I'm about to tell you are not funny, so don't laugh. What happens when you slap Dwayne Johnson on the butt? You hit rock bottom. It's not funny. Why would a pig dressed in black not get bullied? Because Batman has sworn to protect goth ham. It's not funny. I was wondering why music was coming from my printer. Apparently the paper was jamming. Don't laugh at that. It's not funny. A pun walks into a bar. Ten people die on the spot. Pun in, ten dead. It's not funny. What do you call a T-Rex that sells guns? A small arms dealer. It's not funny. Don't laugh. Timmy's dad put his hands on me. What do you mean? He grabbed me. He grabbed you? He grabbed me. Why'd he grab you? Because I pushed Timmy. So he put his hands on you? Fuck that. You're a grown man gonna put your hands on my kids? So let's see what happens when I put my hands on my you. Dad, don't play. Knock your ass out. My dad's straight up gangster. Yo, you put your hand on my kid? Yeah, he put his hands on me. You feel tough grabbing up an 11 year old? You ain't tough. What do I wanna do? You swing it. What the fuck you mean? You, you know what the fuck I wanna do. Which one of these is Timmy's dad? Big one in the middle. Big one has him. With the muscle? He big as fuck. I wanna apologize for my son's actions. Tell him. From, from my understanding, he pushed. It wasn't even a push, it was more of like a he's, trick. He's actually saying it wasn't even really like a push. I would never push. Fell into him. I'm a Christian. We don't even really push people. The devil room. made me do it. Tell him the devil made me do it. <gasps> look at that butterfly. It's one that disguises itself to look like a predator. Eh, I don't see it. Sir, I want you to try these on and tell me if you can see. Oh my God. What are these things? I can see for the first time in years. New invention called glasses. Baby, so those things cured your blindness? Yeah, babe, they... Wow. What? It is over. You are hideous as f I've been walking around with you? Hey, are you, are you okay? Um, my dog died. Ah, oh, fuck, this is awkward. Like, what do I say? Fuck, I'm so sorry, or that must be so hard for you? Fuck, I'm so hard for you. Gah! What the fuck? Oh my, what is my life? Brain. Yeah. What should we do next? Okay. I'm weighing your options. I think we need to die. Why is that your go-to? You know, like, then we wouldn't have to deal with this shit. What if we just ended it all? Think of something There's else. No? Okay, fine, I'll think. I'll think of something else. <laughs> Dad, is it true that they dropped plane waste from the sky? What? No, who told you that? Mum. Uh, no, it's alright, come outside. James, stop feeding our son lies, you're gonna give him anxiety. It's true, come inside, it's not safe. Oh, for Jake, it's fine. <gasps> oh, shit! Uh Get inside! So everyone in my family is like, no, don't get a tattoo. They're painful, expensive, permanent, and you might get addicted and want another one. Uh... Right. But then they also tell me that I should have kids. You have a good point. Hello, is it possible to speak to someone who can tell me how a patient's doing? Well, yes, I can. What room number is she in? Doreen Jacobs, room 604. Okay, let me put you on hold for a moment while I go check with the nurse. Thank you. Hi there, I've got good news. The nurse just told me Doreen's doing very well, her blood pressure's fine, and she's due to be discharged on Tuesday. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. I was so worried. <laughs> You're more than welcome. Is Doreen your mother? No, I'm Doreen Jacobs in room 604. Nobody in this hospital tells me shit. Dude, just ask her out. What's the worst she could say, no? You know what? You're right. <laughs> um, hey, Sarah? October 3rd, 2047. What? Your heart will suddenly stop beating. No! All of your loved ones will watch as you take your last breath. Oh, God! All right, let's sit down and do some work. Work, 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 work. All right, enough. Come on, sit down, dude. Focus. Focus. Ford Focus. What a piece of shit car. Oh, my God. I think that woman that hit me in 1998 drove a Ford Focus. I don't know. Oh look, a bird! Choose a new password. Potato. 
Sorry, password must contain at least eight letters. Boiled potato. Sorry, password must contain at least one number. One boiled potato. Sorry, password cannot contain spaces. Fifty fucking boiled potatoes. Sorry, password must contain capital letters. Fifty fucking boiled potatoes! Sorry, capital letters must not be consecutive. I will shove fifty fucking boiled potatoes up your ass if you do not give me access immediately! Sorry, password must not contain punctuation. Now I am seriously getting pissed off! I will shove fifty fucking boiled potatoes up your ass if you do not give me access immediately! Sorry, you can't change your password to a password that has already been used with this account. Choose a new password. Hey, are you the guy that can only hear every second word? What? Shit, uh... Are, are, you, you, that, that, guy, guy, that, that, can, can, only, only, hear, hear, every, every second, second word, word. Every second word, every second word, every second word, every second word, every second word. Every second word, every second word, every second word. I hate my life. Everybody freeze, armed police. And also unarmed police. I would have come in sooner, but, um, uh, door handles. Come on, let's go. Let's go! Let's go! I got me by a radioactive spider. I can already feel his power coursing through my veins. Now with the treatment and you willing to fight, we can extend your life by a month, maybe two. But this is gonna be hard. Are you okay? Are you okay? What was I thinking, bro? Regular spiders fuck people up. <laughs> Listen, you're gonna get yourself worked up and I don't want- Hey, don't talk like that, okay? You, we're gonna fight this, okay? Dad. Yeah. Yesterday I heard you tell your friend that mom slept with Uncle Rick two times. You heard me, huh? Yeah. And I just want to say- Listen, you don't have to make me feel better. It's it was three times. Mental health? Bad! Emotional health? Bad! Physical health? Bad! Hey, are you feeling okay? Oh, I'm fine. Three men are in a hospital because their wives are having babies. A nurse goes up to the first man and says, Hey, congratulations, you're the father of twins. The man says, Hey, hey that's weird. I, I play for the Minnesota Twins baseball team. Then the nurse says to the second guy, Hey, congratulations, you're, you're the father of triplets. The man says, uh, That's weird. I work for Triple A. The last man starts banging his head against the wall. The, the nurse says, uh, Are you alright? The man says, No! I work for 7-Up! Stephanie, I'm at the mall and I see your boyfriend walking around with some fat bitch. Jess, what do you mean? I'm with my boyfriend right now. Two men were talking when they saw a little boy. The first man says, Oh, this is the dumbest child ever. Oh, watch this. He calls the boy over, pulls out a $5 bill and a $1 bill and asks, Which one do you want? The boy takes the $1 bill and walks away. See? I've been doing that for weeks, and he still hasn't learned, the man says. Later, the second man finds the boy and says, Hey, just so you know, the $5 bill is more than the $1 one. The boy says, Oh, I know, but when I take the $5 bill, the game's over. A woman wakes up in the middle of the night to realize her husband's not in bed with her, so she puts on her slippers and goes downstairs to look for him. She finds him sitting at the kitchen table, and he appears to be in deep thought, staring at the wall. She watches as he wipes a tear from his eyes, and she said, What's the matter, honey? Why are you down here at this time of night? The husband looks away from the wall and says, It's the 20th anniversary of when we met, honey. The wife can't believe he remembers, and she starts to tear up. The husband says, Do you remember 20 years ago when we started dating? I was 18 and you were only 15? With a smile on her face, the wife says, Yes, I remember. The husband says, Do you remember when your father caught us in the backseat of my car? With a confused look on her face, she says, Yeah, I remember. Do you remember when you shoved the shotgun in my face and said, You either marry my daughter or I'll make sure you spend the next 20 years in prison? The wife is embarrassed and she softly says, Yeah, I remember that. The husband wipes another tear from his cheek and he says, I would have gotten out today. Hello? Hi, is your mom home? Yes. May I talk with her? No. Is your daddy home? Yes. May I talk with him? No. Is anyone else there? Yes, a policeman. May I speak with the policeman? No, he's busy. Busy doing what? Talking to the ambulance man and the fireman. What is that noise? A helicopter. What is going on there? The search team just landed a helicopter. What are they searching for? Me. Damn. He don't got a clue in the fucking world. Hey Siri, your mama's so fat, when she got hit by a bus, she asked, who threw that rock? Your mama's so old, when someone told her to act her age, 
She died. Yo mom is so dumb. She stared at orange juice for 12 hours because it said concentrate. Your mom is so stupid. When a burglar broke into her house and stole the TV, she chased after him shouting you forgot the remote. Your mom is so poor. She can't even pay attention. Your mom is so fat. She makes Humpty Dumpty look like a bodybuilder. Your mom is so poor. When I jumped in a puddle, she said, what are you doing in my bathtub? Wait, you can jump? Your mom is so fat. She sat on a dollar bill. And when she got up, there was four quarters. Okay, okay, we're done. We're done. My dad's a doctor and he had a patient yesterday tell him he had severe back pain. My dad asked him what's the reason for the back pain and the man says, when I got home last night, my wife was in bed naked and there was evidence of a presence of a man. So I start looking for the bastard and I look out the window and I see a man that's naked running. So I go to grab the refrigerator and I throw it out the window and that's how I hurt my back. My dad was shocked, but he wrote him a prescription and set him on his way. Right after that, another man comes in and tells my dad that he has severe back pain. My dad asks him, why does your back hurt? The man says, I was late for work, so I was running out of my house naked trying to put my clothes on in the alley when out of nowhere a refrigerator falls and hits me, and that's why my back hurts. My dad was really shocked, but wrote him the same prescription and set him on his way when a third man walks in and says, Doc, my back hurts, and my dad says, You either got hit by a refrigerator or hurt yourself lifting a refrigerator. The man replies, No, Doc, I was inside the refrigerator. Oh no, no. This, this, this can't be. Have a great day. I want to divorce. Oh my god. What did I just fucking tell you? What? No, dude! Hey, look, it says gullible on the ceiling. Very funny. No, it does. Have a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm serious. It says gullible. I'm not falling for I'm it. I'm not joking. It actually says gullible. Just drop it, alright? I swear to God, just have a look. I'm not looking. Just have a look! No! I think we need to break up. What? Morning. Morning. Hey, what the fuck is this thing? Oh, that's the demon core. Oh, am I dead? Yeah. Shit. Have a good day at golf, you two. It won't be fun for dad, because he could barely see where any of the holes are. What? Well, you're one to talk, son. Your grip game is so weak, you can barely keep your hands on the shaft. You're still talking about golf, right? Hey, it only slipped out that one time because I was trying to get out from behind a wet bush. It sounds like you guys might need to bring more balls. No, 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 no! Son, you were adopted. Oh my god, I knew it! Uh, I want to meet my biological parents! We are your biological parents. Now pack up, your new ones are picking up in 20 minutes. Oh god, I'm gonna fart. I'll just blame it on the person next to me. Ew. You're not fooling anyone, it's only you and me in this elevator. Uh, sir, it says here that you have a criminal record? Yes, I do. Can you tell me why you were arrested? My last interviewer did not hire me and I killed him. You start Monday. Derek, I checked your Dad, can I get a ride? No, I checked your browsing history. Okay, I was honestly trying to spell pianist, and then all of a sudden that all just popped up, and I did not know that was going to I'm talking about these. What? How to hurt your grandma. That sounds some pretty good ideas. Is it illegal to hit your grandma? Turns out, yes, it is. Are old women strong? Okay, that one wasn't clear. How much does a hitman cost? $10,000. How to make $10,000 fast? It wasn't very helpful. How much is three nickels? Not that much. Where to get a hitman for 15 cents? There is none. I just don't get it. Are teachers allowed to date students? They are not. What does consent? Mean? That one wasn't clear either. Is Mr. Turner single? He's not. Who is Mr. Turner's wife? Some bitch named Stephanie. Do you go to jail if you cheat on your wife? You don't. Will a hitman take out two people? Grandma, Stephanie. This is ridiculous. Will I go to jail if I hire the hitman? I will. Do you get to take showers with other people in jail? You do. What happens in the shower at jail? Boy. Things that people go to jail for. Robin Banks. What does robbery mean? To steal stuff. What is the closest bank to my house? Down the street. This is crazy. Where do you need a ride to? U.S. Bank. Well, pass. Pass me. Pass it to me. Go wash some dishes. Hold on, mom. I'm playing ball. I'm gonna play with your balls if you don't wash them dishes. What the fuck does that even mean? And so this here is the master bedroom. Any ghosts? Pardon? Does the house have any ghosts? Oh, no, no, no ghosts. You sure?
No ghosts here. <laughs> Alright. You want ghosts? I want friends! I don't care if they're dead or alive, it's a big house, I could use the company. Right, sorry, um, yeah, no ghosts. <laughs> hey there, any questions about the house I can answer? Excuse me, I'm in the middle of a conversation. With who? Oh no. I'll take it. 911, what is your emergency? Yeah, there's someone in my house. Okay, sir, we need a description. It's a girl. Do you like her? LOL, maybe. Oh my god, I wonder where his zodiac sign is. Oh, she's for sure a Scorpio. Uh, per, go talk to her. I don't know, I'm kind of nervous. Okay, 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 okay. I wonder why she's breaking into your house. I know, right? Like, if you're broke, just say that. <laughs> Period. Oh my god, wait, she's walking up to me. I'm freaking out. Uh, okay, girl, you got this. Don't freak out. Hey, cutie. <laughs> oh, fuck! She shot me in my nutsack! Oh my god, that's giving Gemini. I know, right? That's what I was thinking. Right? Ah, fuck! It's time for a fun fact. Did you know that if you took every single blood vessel out of the average child and laid them all out in a straight line, you would be charged with murder and go to jail? <clears throat> Hello, Mr. David... Mm -hmm. McCartney. McCartney! Listen, usually I start off my interrogations by trying to intimidate my suspects, but... I like you, David. We just met. I'm just going to ask you once. Did you kill Pete Richardson? No. Let me rephrase that. Have you killed Pete Richardson? No. Would you kill Pete Richardson? No. Could you kill Pete Richardson? No. Might you kill Pete Richardson? Not at all. What if you killed Pete Richardson? I don't even know how to answer that. So you don't want to answer my question now. Seems like you're hiding something. Ooh, what's that? You look a little frightened. Did you kill Pete Richardson? No. Did you kill Pete Richardson? No. Did you kill Pete Richardson? No. Did you not kill Pete Richardson? Yes. Did you not not kill Pete Richardson? No. Is your name David? Yes. Did you kill Pete Richardson? Yes. Wait, no. No, no, that's not what I, not what I mean. We got it, boys. How's the gambling going, man? It's been six months. Nice, that's great, man. Yeah, I don't think I'll gamble ever again. Yeah? I'll bet you 50 bucks. You're on. Damn it. Thank you. Double or nothing? Sure. Fuck! Hey class, today we're going to be playing Two Truths and a Lie. It's pretty self-explanatory. You're just going to say two things about yourself that are true and one that's not. Oh, can I, can I go first? Oh, Brooke, you're really excited. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Okay, uh, these are just off the top of my head. Um, I really like strawberries. My dad picked up crack like three years ago. It drove him insane. It tore our family apart. Then he got the death penalty for killing like a bunch of people. And uh, my birthday's in May. <laughs> oh. Um... Is, is the second one alive? My birthday's in July! A man is praying to God. He says, God, I have one question for you. How do you perceive time? God replies, a million years to me is just a minute. Then the man says, and what about money? God says, a million dollars to me is just a penny. So the man thinks and says, God, can I have a penny? God says, sure, just a minute. Cheese! Let's do an ugly one. Can you take one more? We want an ugly picture. Yeah, okay. Oh crap, oh crap, 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 the bomb! It's about to go off! We need to defuse it! Okay, but how? Are there any wires? No, it's only a code, but I don't know what it is! Oh, shit, shit. Wait, the, the lobby, the, the, the wall had a famous math problem on it that no one was able to solve. Maybe that's what the code is. You're taking a grand old time with only ten sec- what? How's it only been two seconds? You're right, but uh, I don't remember what it- I do. I tried solving it myself, but I failed. Only you can do it. Okay, now it's been well over 10 seconds. What, five? What, how? I can do it. I knew it. Wait, are they doing a time lapse? They're playing a time lapse with five seconds left. That doesn't make any sense. I got it. I got it. We did it. Right. So I got a couple of fish there, and over there's my parrot. Oh, cool. Shut the f up. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't listen to him. Right. <laughs> I can't let you live. You said some weird stuff. Uh, okay, parrot. See? <laughs> right. Anyway, I also have a cat if you want to see Hide the body! Hide the body! You're not actually paying any attention to him, are you? You know what, um, if you'll excuse me, I actually have to be going now. No. <laughs> Goddamn parrot! Not again. Whoa, uh, hey. I, I, was I wasn't even listening to him. <laughs> I can't let you live. I can't let you live. Shut the fuck up! Hey, you got the drugs? Wait, are you a cop? 
What? If I ask legally, you got to tell me or it's entrapment. Am I a cop? Yeah. Uh, yeah, man, I'm a cop. <laughs> what do you think? I think you're a cop. Are you shaking your head? Mm, not legally. All right, I'm going to go. All right, all right. I'm not a cop. Happy? Yeah. Detective Michaels, you're under arrest for entrapment. Fuck! You're pathetic, you know that? Bro, don't talk. You got fake glasses on. Huh, <laughs> touche. What? Touche? Wait, don't you mean touche? No, it's pronounced touche. No, it's pronounced touche, bro! It's pronounced touche. No, you dumbass! It's pronounced touche! Alright, damn, chill, bro. What's, what's wrong with you, man? Don't be a douche. Oh, you motherfucker! Oh my god, what the fuck? <sighs> um, Stephanie, I went into the kitchen and there are dishes in the sink. Why are there dishes in the sink? The reason there's dishes in the sink because you keep complaining about the water bill and so in order to help you with the water bill I decided that I was only going to wash dishes at a certain time in the day to save on the water bill. Go in there and wash that knife. She right though. A man was driving down the road when a policeman stopped him. The officer looked in the back of the man's truck and said, Why are these penguins in your truck? The man replied, These are my penguins. They belong to me. You need to take them to the zoo, the policeman said. The next day, the officer saw the same guy driving down the road. He pulled him over again. He saw the penguins were still in his truck. I thought I told you to take these penguins to the zoo, the officer said. And I did, the man replied, and today I'm taking them to the beach. Hey, little man. What you want to be when you grow up? I want to be just like you. Oh, that's so sweet. I want to be alone forever. I met the most beautiful woman last night. I just, I didn't get her name. I must find her. Oh, how exciting, your majesty. If you provide me just a brief description, I would love- Yeah, I need you to round up all the women from the village so I can look at their feet. I mean, if you just tell me what she looks like, I'd love- Just lined up sockless, you know? Just piggies out, yeah. Yeah, okay, even just hair color, we could start- Is that her shoe? I can have you hung, okay? Remember that. Yes, I'll- Barefoot, I'll get him. The salary of a clown is $51,000 a year! And you're doing it for free! Remember, your future self is talking trash about you right now. Until we meet again! Did you guys know that my last name's Smith because my dad's a blacksmith? Like how my last name's Cook because my dad's uh, a chef. That's awesome. What about you, Tim? Uh, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know where, where mine's from. So what do you do? I work with animals. Oh my god, I love animals. Being a butcher is honestly a lot of fun. Oh my god, I am so tired. You say that literally every day. When are you not tired? When I'm sleeping. A man was driving in the middle of nowhere when he got a flat tire. He came to a monk monastery. He asked the monk for refuge, and the monk let him stay the night. While he was asleep, he heard a noise. Not just any noise, but the most loudest, most wonderful, most beautiful noise he had ever heard. He wanted to see what it was, but there was just a giant locked door. He asked the monk what was behind the door, but the monk said, I can't tell you, you're not a monk. The next morning, he heard the noise again. He again asked the monk what it was, but the monk just replied, I can't tell you, you're not a monk. He said, how do I become a monk? The monk said, it is very hard and might take many years. But he had to know what was behind that door, so he agreed. For the next 50 years, he trained to be a monk. Finally, the monk gave him the key to the door, and he saw what was making that noise. But I, I can't tell you, you're not a monk. Is that your car? You don't see the door open? Oh, yeah, sorry. You're just getting into a random person's car? I was just trying to say it's a nice car. What a fucking idiot. <sighs> Yo, what the hell are you doing? Hey, did you have to be an asshole just now, or were you born this way? I'm sorry. I knew this was your car. I just wanted to say you had a nice car and didn't know how to break the ice. I understand. Do you? Yeah. Then why go out of your way to make me feel dumb? I don't know. Because just... you're an asshole. Yes. Well, uh... Unfortunately, there are consequences for your actions today. You're not gonna shoot me in broad daylight. I'm not gonna shoot you at all. This is a this is a Nerf gun. <laughs> yeah, I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a psychopath. I'm going to stab you. What? Do you drink? No. Are you sure? I mean, like at, like casually, like at a party or a wedding or something like that. No. 
right like my house alone every night what do you drink just like a glass of wine at dinner okay that's healthy and then a shot of tequila okay and then another shot um and then a few more and then some more and then i usually pass out then i wake up and i take a few more so the answer is yes yeah i drink oh my god i'm 97 and i didn't even study what did you get 100 oh congrats three point difference same thing no 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 you got a 97 because that's all you could get i got a hundred because that's all there was to get truth or dare dare go on i dare you to wear your hat backwards no <laughs> go on dare it's your go truth or dare dare i dare you to not exist what where'd he go michael truth or dare no it's not your go anymore truth or dare truth i i pick truth is it true that you don't exist what no john Truth or dare? Truth or dare? Dare! Okay! I dare you to put your glasses on upside down! Okay. And if you ever fix them, they'll fucking kill you. Everybody's dead, boss. Let's get out of here. No. Let's make sure nobody finds out about this. Burn the bodies. Huh? Come on, man. We did. We're not gonna say anything. English? Yes, French. What does this spell? That's eight. Eight? But I thought this was eight. Yeah, that's also eight. But wait, if this is eight, then this must be hate. It's different, now it's height. Height? But, but this is eight, this is height? Okay, so then this is also height? What are you talking about? It's hate, obviously. This, this stays hate, obviously. Okay, so wait, let me get this straight. If this is height, then this must be white. Well, see, that's a different letter, right? So it goes back to being eight, it's weight. Wait? It goes back to wait? Okay, so when you wait for someone, you spell it like this? <laughs> Why would wait be spelled like that? That's ridiculous. I have one last question. This is it, right? So then this is great. No, that's great. Great? This is great, but this is it. This is great. This is eight. This is height. I, I don't get it. <laughs> Fake friend test. If you send your friend this video and they don't send you a video back of them going into a bank and screaming, Everybody get the fuck down! Nobody fucking move! This is a fucking robbery! They're not really your fucking friend. So a man dies and goes to hell and meets Satan. And Satan says to him, Nowadays when people die, they can choose their own hell. So I'll take you to three options and you choose where you will spend eternity. Satan takes him to the first door and he opens it. And the man sees thousands of people standing on their heads on hardwood floors. And he says, no way, this isn't for me. Next door, please. Satan takes him to the second door and opens it. And the man sees thousands of people standing on their heads on concrete floors. And he says, this is even worse than the first floor. Can I see the third room, please? Satan opens the third door and the man sees thousands of people standing knee deep in shit drinking coffee and he says this is the place for me satan asks him are you sure once i close the door there's no going back and the man says i'm positive i love coffee so he steps in and satan closes the door just before the man could get comfortable a loud voice on the speaker says coffee breaks over back on your heads <laughs>